to go fishing together, to pass on what you know, and also to see the enjoyment when they actually catch something on the end of that rod, whether they're three years of age or 28 years of age. Ever since I was a baby, I was on a boat with a family, with friends. Uh, it's, it's what we do, it's a, it's a real New Zealand thing, and I uh, love spending time out in the ocean. It's the anticipation of, of what comes next, and you just don't know. Well, I was living in the States in uh, 1980, and I met a man called Richard Cantor. So Richard was involved in the uh, Blackbird uh, spy plane. When they finished developing that, he started up his own company and started making fly rods. Technology-wise, he was way more advanced than the way we use graphite. So graphite could offer the fishermen something obviously lighter, smaller, so it was sensitive, you could feel the bites better, you could cast further because you could get a lot more through the air, and just revolutionary compared to fiberglass. We utilise graphite 100% by using unidirectional wraps. Innovation is everything and it's so inspiring to see how Dad started it, you know, being putting graphite into his rods and, and that was such a, a, a huge step forward in manufacturing and fishing gear. The one thing I like about this business is, is the passion of fishing and all my friends and family being involved in it. We manufactured blanks initially here in New Zealand and then of course I needed to sell those outside of New Zealand. So we hit the road and uh, so to speak and did the biggest shows around the world, Australia, Europe and the United States. From there we met some amazing people from Russia, Poland, all of Europe really to the United States and, and to Australia. Being a little company from down under, we wanted to make something that was a bit different and we wanted to really concentrate on quality. This is the best part about making rods, you get out and test them. Well, Dad's been working with this new manufacturing facility for the last 10 years and have finally got it to the point where we can do anything we want. We can customise rods to a level that we were never able to do and then scale it. You know, where we used to be able to do 100, we can do thousands. We're looking at new materials, we're looking at rods that can do totally different things, changing the dynamic. All so that when you're out on the ocean or the rivers, you have a better time. It's more enjoyable and you have a much better chance of catching that dream fish. So we're out there doing what we love, um, and that's fishing and obviously taking what we need, but obviously putting back what we don't need. Today we saw gannets diving, dolphins jumping up in front right on the boat, and we put the line down and we're jigging, and kingfish, kawaii, snapper, it's awesome. Through my professional engineering career, I've sort of I've been around all over the world, and there's just no better place than this. From Auckland, we're east coast. That's the east coast right there. West coast is 30 minutes away, and then a couple of hours we can be at some of the best fly fishing grounds in the world. And in terms of where can you design and test and innovate fishing gear, there's no better place than here. It's all about building a global brand. So with the combination of people and technology, City Rods is ready to take on the world.